Hello, all of you vaingloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Planet Coaster, where we are taking part in some career challenges. In the last episode, we built a couple rides. We uh, put in a drink shop, and somewhere down here in a cave, we put in a bathroom so people could do their business. It looks like the line is cleared up that we had earlier, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think we just had a lot of people who had to go. And uh, now that that's not an issue anymore, the the line is not a problem anymore. God, look at all the detail of this stuff. It's amazing. So, today, what we need to try to do is see if we can't get up to uh, 900 guests, which it looks like we're climbing. Uh, 870 right now. We have three. Oh, we're losing people. Uh, we uh, had 870. I'm going to go ahead and continue out this path by just painting over what we have. We have plenty of money in the bank. We are now charging admission. I um, want to go ahead and cover this one over as well. I'm not going to do a whole lot in this park. Once we beat the challenge, we'll move on to another one. But my god, this place is beautiful, isn't it? I mean, look at the potential that we have for doing a lot of really cool stuff. So, let's do some uh, research, see if we can't get a cool ride in here. Uh, let's go into research, start research. Um, we already have an ATM. I don't think we really need any more. A family ride. Magical moment. So, that's going to be like the genie or something, isn't it? Uh, let's try to get this guy going pretty quick. So, let's devote... Well, how much money are we making, bringing in each month? Um, our cash flow last month was 7900 so let's throw a lot of money at this guy. I can go all the way up to 1500 so let's do it. That way to get done really quick. And then uh, let's go ahead and start researching the ATM. And go up to 500 on that, so let's do that. And, you know, do we want to re research a new coaster? Nah, because coasters aren't part of this challenge. So I'm not going to worry about it. Hey, we're up to 887 we were getting many guests are thirsty on our last run through. So I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't put in some shops and things down here as well. well I'd kind of like to stick with blueprints just because it makes it a little bit easier. Oh, I can't filter by type, can I? I thought I could. Um, so I have a chief beef store, which... Fits our pirate theme quite nicely. Even has a cannon shooting off of it. I'll probably change this from Chief Beef, though. But I like it, so I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to bring it a little more forward here. Actually, let's put it over here. Rotate it around. Come on, rotate for me. Oh, I hit X. I didn't mean to do that. So I'll have to manually rotate it. And then move it back. A little bit so that railings not coming up over there there we go and I am going to change this from chief beef to something else because we already have a chief beef so let's edit the building say goodbye chief beef and what should we put in here um, what's a good piratey food I don't know we'll see um, for food we have Chief Beef, Cosmic Cow Ice Cream, Hot Dog Squad, and the Pizza Pit. Let's go with the Hot Dog Squad. Bring him in right here. I think we can do some cool Hot Dog Squad stuff. I uh, need my signs, though. Let's search for Hot Dog. There we go. Let's just put one of these right here just so we keep the theme of what was already in there. And then we'll put a big Hot Dog Squad sign. Well, maybe not. They don't have a, they have a big one. What do they do under building? Uh, hot dog squad. That's what I'm looking for. There's a nice big hot dog squad sign. Right there. I want to raise him up though. Like that. Is that good? Well, looks like it's pretty much on. Yeah, that'll work. So we've got a hot dog squad now. Let's see how our staff are doing. If we could train anybody up. My god, this is all so responsive when we're not lagging terribly. Go ahead and give you your $10 an hour raise and you your $10 an hour raise. 
I'm train them all up. We are starting to lose some happiness here, but I think if I keep training them, we'll be okay. So then let's throw in another drink shop as well. Down this way to deal with the mini guests are thirsty issue. Which I only have the shipwreck though. I do I want to repeat it? I don't care if I repeat it. It's fine. We're not going for a whole lot of decorative detail here. We're just going for getting uh, the, the park to work. And we're not going to make this Cosmic Cow milkshake since that's what's in the other place. Even though somebody's about to walk up to it. We'll let her buy her milkshake real quick. Why can't I? I want to click the I want to click the cosmic cow, not the lantern. Can we do that, please? He just wants to keep clicking lantern. There we go. Goodbye, cosmic cow milkshakes. You served us well for that one sale. But we're going to put something else in your place. Uh, shops and facilities. Our drinks. Oh, that's all we have. Oh. Okay, we'll undo all that. Um, okay. Fine, I didn't know that's all we had. And then let's go in and give him his $10 an hour raise. So that should help a little bit in that regard. And then we could probably squeeze in a bathroom down here as well. For the people who need to use the facilities down here. I want blueprints, actually. And then let's go stick with this uh, shipwreck theme here. Where's the actual bathrooms at, though? They're there and on this end. Let's tuck this in right here next to this guy and then delete uh, the bathroom on the back. Oh, how many bathrooms are on this thing? Three? It's not hovering in the air, actually. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, edit the building and get rid of this bathroom block right here and uh, put in... Get rid of the archway. Is there not an archway here? There's not. Oh, there is. Get rid of it and duplicate the wall and hide this back panel. There we go. I know there's a lot of torches and things there that we don't really need, but that's okay. And should we charge people to use the bathroom? We should. Uh, we really should. We're going to charge them uh, 50 cents. To, not $50. 50 cents to use the bathroom. And synchronize. They'll complain a little bit about it, but they'll eventually get over it. Oh, hey, we hit our next goal, didn't we? Oh, no, I need one more ride. Which, there's not a whole lot that fits into this piratey idea. I mean, I could put in a teacups ride. But what are we researching and how much longer till it's done? I really think it's going to be a genie ride, though. And I just don't think a genie ride really uh, fits for what we're trying to do at all. You know what would help is to run some marketing. Uh, let's bring in some high impact. What's my finances looking like? Um, oh, because I spent so much on research, though, I don't have a whole lot of money. Oh, but I did finish something. Yay, the ATMs are done, so I can put in more ATMs. Awesome. Uh, start research. I can't start any new research yet on another facility for some reason, which is Odd. I would have thought I would have been able to. But, whatever. So, I hit the 900. So, we just need one more ride and then get up to 1100. And this challenge will be done. I know these aren't the, this isn't challenge mode. It's career mode. But they seem like this should be called challenges to me. Oh, I love the lighting on this over here. This is all beautiful. Quite beautiful. I don't know why we have a uh, cannon firing off in that direction. But, you know, whatever. Let's not question it too much. Probably could have built that off over here somewhere, honestly. Like right here, but whatever. It's it's there now, so it's staying put. Um, so what to do, what to do, what to do. Fourth ride? How much longer till that fourth ride is done? Uh twelve days. Can we speed that up a little bit? Let's go ahead and speed things up. Go back to my finances tab. Because I was wanting to do some marketing to bring in some more people. Let's bring in, uh, since this is a family park, let's bring in some families. And see if this keeps us in the green. It should be in the black, but whatever. As long as I stay in the green, I should be okay. 
um, not going to buy that ride just yet. I want to see how my marketing campaign pays off. And then we can just plop down that last ride once we get to 1100 and have this career done. Avast me, hearties, and welcome to Planet Coaster. Shiver those timbers and take charge of this explosive pirate park. Probably should have done this in the last episode. Uh, they use swashbuckling. How cute. Alright, view research. What did we get? A magic twirl. It doesn't really fit with our theme, does it? Um, but you know what? It, it might be better than anything else we have available to us. Now, I think I'm going to go with the teacups. Uh, I think that fits a little bit better. We've already got a Rocktopus, and, it, and these guys I don't think really fit with the theme of this park. So, uh, let's place this guy in here up a little bit. There you go. And then rotate you around to about, like, uh, that. We're going to place our entrance right here. We're going to place our exit right here. There, connect our entrance up, and boop. I don't know that I'm going to need to get into too much decoration in this park, so we've about beat the challenge already. So I think we'll be okay to just build this thing and be done. Because we're... Whoa! Pirate battle! Objective complete for silver, and we're almost there on gold. Um, and then, uh, back to regular paths, back to this path, because that's the one we have, and we'll just connect it right there, that'll be fine. Though I do want this guy to kind of go back to, uh, what it was, there we go. So, I should just be able to ride this out now. Uh, possibly. I am starting to lose some people, but that marketing campaign should kick in, I would hope. Well, a lot of litter in the park. Do I not have any trash bins? I don't see any trash bins. So let's go ahead and deal with that. And also put in some benches while we're at it. Uh, scenery theme pirate. Let's reset. Wait, I, I don't have any. Is that something you have to research? Really? You have to research that? Um... Reset the... Oh, here's why. Hot Dog Squad still typed in. My bad. Okay, so we have a barrel bin that we can plop in here and there. Let's throw a few of these in. Just in places that we're seeing some high litter areas. Like there and there's a good spot for one. And probably here. And probably here as well. How are we doing with litter that way? None. Oh, I forgot to open this ride. Let's open you up. There we go. So now I just got to get to 1,100 people. We're down to 1,000. Hmm. Uh, but I think this litter problem is causing part of the issue here. Uh, where else do we have a lot of litter? Anywhere? Let's just... Whoop. No, no, I wanted to go down. I wanted to go down. I wanted to go... Forgot that I reloaded the park, so I have to hit the, the T button to change it over. Oh yeah, we have a lot of litter piling up in here. We could probably maybe use with another janitor then to help keep up with uh, keeping those empty. Any litter down this way? No, surprisingly not. God, this place is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, no litter down this way, so we're good here. So probably throw in a few more benches and uh, call it a day on that type of stuff. And then hire one more, uh, uh, you know, guy. I can't think of the word. Janitor. I'm just throwing a couple benches here. Just give people a place to have a little sit down as they're getting on and coming off of the rides. Like that. And then one more ride over here. Just so you can rest and wait for your kid to get off the ride. That should take care of that. Uh, how are we doing on our budget? I think we're fine because we're still bringing in some money. Yeah, we're still bringing in some money so we can afford to hire another janitor. Maybe even just go ahead and hire two more. There we go. And then go into park management. Go into staff. Uh, train up whoever. Whoa, there we go. 1,100 people. Train these guys up just because I was doing it. And 
Give them a raise, and I think we're ready for our next career. Not the best looking park, but you know what? It got me to my challenges. And there's not too many people complaining about stuff. It's just a lot of thefts right now. Um, how, how are we doing on resolving those? Um, not too good, but you know, whatever. Have some vandalism going on. Barrel bin. Where are they vandalizing stuff? Because that usually indicates where people are really unhappy. Huh, interesting. They're really unhappy over here. Oh, well, let's go to our uh, next challenge, shall we? So, uh, we'll save this one just so we uh, have it to come back to if ever we decide we want to do that. So, we'll save park. We'll head back to our main menu, which will kill the frame rate for a second. Ooh, magic. And our next career is going to be... Uh, we did that one. Because that one was easy. We're in these guys here. I want to go to the Creature Awakens. It's another beginner challenge. These are all beginner challenges. We're beginning with the beginners. Because why wouldn't we? <coughs> so rumors of engineers meeting sticky ends. Scared off this park staff. Oh my god. The bargain price represents an irresistible. So hire some new staff. Complete construction of the park. And ignore reports of strange noises underground. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what we have here. Whoa, whoa, indeed. I've never played this one, I don't think. I think I've looked at it for maybe inspiration. But, uh, oh, wow, there's nothing here. Does this park have nothing? Looks like we have uh, a dark ride. Yeah, we do. We have, ooh, there's the creature. Very Star Wars-esque. Um, so we have the Kraken's Lair ride. Is that the only ride in this park? Gosh, it is. Holy crap. There's some massive opportunities here. Okay, so what, my friends, do we have to accomplish here? Uh, hire two janitors, build two rides. One's already built. Hire two mechanics, build five rides. Hire two entertainers and attract a thousand guests. What's our budget look like? What are we What are we doing here? Well, wow, guest happiness is really low. Well, let's get this janitor hired. There we go. Was it just one that we had to hire, right? Well, hire two janitors. Let's get the second janitor hired. Plop you down there. So, yay! Bronze is getting there. we got to build another ride, though. How are we going to build rides in this place? I mean, look at this. This place is crazy. But a lot more is unlocked this time. Well, okay, not a lot more. We don't have much money at all. So this one doesn't have as much of a theme, so I can get away with doing other stuff here. Uh, I do remember that the kickflip was a very popular ride in our last part. So let's build kickflip. What are you, just a shop? Now let's build kickflip off over here somewhere. Quit complaining. Uh, where, where do I want it to go? Like this? Yeah, I think I want it like that, right? And then we'll raise it up a little bit. So it comes up out of the ground. And maybe move it up and then down. There we go. Up and then down. That's what I said. Deal with it. Alright, so we're going to place our entrance uh, over here. We're going to place our exit right here. And then try to twist it around. Go into paths. Looks like we're using this path for everything. Ooh, this is going to be a hard corner to make. But I think I can do it. Come on, come on. Turn, turn that corner right there. No? You don't want to? Shit. Okay, so what I need to do then is move the ride back a little bit. And over a little bit. Go back into paths. Get out of here because I need to delete some shit that I just did. And then let's try to connect up this entrance. Uh, it's kind of fugly, but it works. 
All right, so now connect an entrance. Now, do I have anything that's similar to that? I don't, so we'll just stick with what it's wanting to go with. Do an entrance, and then come down, and then down, and then we'll start heading over here. Lengthen this out. No, not that big. That's a little too big. There we go. And then have it wrap just around like that, and then try to make its way out. Let's go down to one. There we go. We'll just have it come right in like so for now. Bronze complete. You know, I'd kind of like to see what this ride does. It, oh, a priority pass. Can we uh, go on this ride? Ooh. Whoa. Very cool. Oh, wow. This is nice. Could do with some more. Whoa, there is a monster down here. Could do with some more decoration, I think. But, uh. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. That was incredible. I dig it. I really do. I don't like that the speakers are showing. I always try to hide speakers and lights because I just don't think they should be seen. Oh, I'm running at 99 frames per second. Yeah, old uh, Morningwood Thrills could never get these numbers. All right, so this just brings us back to where we started. I like how we've got a queue going above it. That's really cool. So let's see what the first part of the ride looks like. Oh, these frame rates are all over the place. We're up to 100-something frames per second now. Ah, don't worry. I'll handbrake it all down to 60 frames per second, and it'll be fine. I thought Bandicam was supposed to limit everything to 60 frames per second, but I guess not. Variable bitrate does not do well with Adobe. They don't get along at all. All right, so let's see what this does here. Let's go. Come on, speed it up. We'll just speed it up until we get going. There we go. All right, let's see what this whole ride is, and we'll make our way through. This is a pretty damn good ride. I love how it goes in the ground, though. I think that's fantastic. Probably move some more people through if it went faster. Ah, oh, this is so pretty, though. Fantastic, actually. Oh my gosh, look at this. This place is amazing. So they're fighting the monster. So there's the first hint that there's something lurking underneath. Oh my god, look at it. Oh wow, this is incredible. Oh wow, there's all the people it's eaten. This is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I wish I had the skill to build like this. I am going to try something like this in uh, Morningwood Thrills. We're going to ditch the roller coaster that's coming out of the back of the castle. But, you know, that'll be next week or maybe even two weeks from now. Hard to say. So it makes a climb back up, but we still haven't seen that part where the monster actually jumps out at us. So I'd kind of like to see that. Oh, wow, you get to see outside again. This is so well done. I, I'm just, I'm in awe here. In absolute awe. Whoa, shit. Oh my gosh. I nearly got swiped by the arm. And then we come around here, see even more wiggly tentacles. Now there's definitely a creature living down below, and he is huge, because look how many arms he has. This is so pretty. Headlights come back on. Now we're kind of back to where I think we were. Yeah. Oh, my God. He has eggs. Oh, there's eggs. Oh, shit. More little creatures to be born. I guess it might be a she, then, if we've got this many eggs and nests. We're almost back around to where we started because uh, the monster jumped out in one of these red rooms. This is incredible. 
It's everywhere I look, it's just gorgeous. Ooh. The drum beat. The ominous drum beat. I think this is where we started a minute ago, yeah? Pretty sure. Yeah, this is where we started a minute ago. We'll have the lightning crash. And then the monster jump out of this. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Okay, out of the ride. Let's see, how are we doing with our challenge here? Uh, we've had a lot of litter in the park, so we got to add some bins. Where's our litter? Where's our litter problem at? I don't know how I'm going to build stuff over here, honestly. Um, where is the litter problem? I don't think we... Do we not have a litter problem anymore because we hired the janitors? That's the park entrance there, and then it just... I wish I could build park entrances like this. Look how cool this is. That is awesome. That's unreal. It just spirals up. Yeah, I don't think we have a litter problem anymore. How's our uh, janitors doing? Oh, we didn't open this. Let's open that up so we can uh, start bringing in some money. And speaking of money, I really need to look and see where our finances are. Uh, so far for this month, we're only bringing in $900. Um, a big part of it is is staff wages and scenery running costs. But that should go up now that we've got Kickflip open. That should start bringing in some money here. Uh, probably even customize it. Yeah, Kraken's Lair does have a long queue. How many cars are on Kraken's Lair here? Uh, six. I probably could do more than that. And I could probably also decrease these wait times. Let's see here. I'm gonna wait for a car to come up. Because if I decrease the wait time, that will help. But I don't think there's any reason for it to be waiting 60 seconds. See, so look how long they're just sitting there waiting to go. I bet we can have that. Yeah, we can have that. There we go. Minimum departure interval. Let's go. Uh. Actually, let's leave that 35 because I don't want to mess with the timing of it. So do our minimum wait time 35, then the departure interval 35. So hopefully that will do a little bit better here. I don't think they're going to be sitting here waiting as long now. Oh, they're still sitting around an awful long time that they don't need to be sitting there. So let's get rid of, or let's, let's have this. Let's bring it out, uh, not quite half, but let's go 20 seconds here. Oh, I didn't want to knock, knock the station, turn that back off. Let's see if that doesn't do a little bit better for our times. I kind of like these cars to just go as soon as, yeah, that's better. So that should speed up our queue because it's going to get more people through the ride quicker. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so now that we're in a new month, what are our finances looking like? Oh, and speaking of wait times, um, I don't know how long it takes to fill this guy up. Let's watch. Oh, whoa. And while we're watching, we'll uh, take a look at our finance tab. I made 1500 but I spent a lot on construction. So that if I don't build a ride this month, but I'm already at a negative cash flow. Ooh, that's a problem. All right, let's make sure this thing gets nice and full in that 60 seconds that it's waiting. And then we'll let it run one full cycle and then make sure it gets full again when we have to exit everybody off. So we're going to run it really fast and see what we've got here. We have 431 guests. I need to hire some mechanics, and I am going to need to hire those guys sooner rather than later. Because when a ride breaks down, we'll be screwed. Okay, so everybody gets off, and then it fills up, and then how long does it wait before it starts going? Almost instant, so that's pretty good. Uh, where are we at with finances? We're making a little bit of money, so let's risk it and hire our first mechanic here. Might be a little dangerous, but hey, you know what? I can always restart the challenge if I screw it up. Let's go ahead and give... Everybody a little bit of a raise. 
just to keep them happy. There we go. Can I change? Oh, yeah, park admission prices. What What's that looking like? Again, we're not charging admission. Let's. This isn't a lot in this park. So let's go like $2.50 and then $2 for families. Uh, just to get it in there. Can't really afford a lot on marketing right now. These are $1,000. And I'm not making that much money. I mean, look, I'm in the red now for this month. That's a dangerous place to be. So we only have $11,400 in our finances here. And I can't afford to hire a security guard just yet. Hopefully if I can get some people going through here. You know what? Let me look up something here real quick. Because I have somewhere bookmarked. Yeah, Planet Coaster ride setup. Let me see if I can't get this kickflip to generate more money for us. Gonna have to close it down. Yeah, I can get this thing all the way up to $22. So we're gonna change the sequence, put it in testing. And I want one, two, three, four total animations. And I want it to be a 3, 6, and a 3, and a 6. So that's a 1, 2, 3. A 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. A 1, 2, 3. And a 1, 2, 3, 6. Now I can charge a lot more money for this. But I am going to have to get that uh, ride scenery, or the queue scenery, up quite a bit to justify that. So let's just do that with the cheapest scenery options that we have available. Which is plants. Bushes and plants. We're going to put in a bunch of them. We're just going to line this thing with a bunch of plants. And maybe a couple lights. Go down. There you go. And are you done testing yet so I can reopen you real quick? Yep. There we go. Let's get some people on here paying $22 for this ride. And then that will help our finances considerably. Because we want our ride tickets to give us more than what it costs to run them, which we're doing. There we go. Yeah, so we're, we're in the green for this month now. Of course, we didn't have those massive construction costs. Let's go back to our scenery. Keep placing down. I know it's ugly as sin, but... It's, it's the quickest solution to get uh, Q scenery up here. The fountain's kind of floating in the air. We'll put some under it to make it not float. There we go. There we go. One for you two and you. And then we'll put a bunch over here. That one's floating in the air. Let's uh, put some under it to make it look like they're all connected then. There we go. Just trying to bring the scenery rating up. And let's get some lights in here now. Uh, we'll go for the cheapest light we have. Ten dollars. Uh, sort by price. There we go. This new street lamp that I've never used before. We'll put a couple of them in. In just some strategic locations. Uh, can you go down for me? I'm hitting the wrong button. Can you go there. And one right there. That should do a little bit. And that should have brought my Q string up. They're not complaining about the price. Q scenery is kind of meh. But nobody's complaining about the price. And it's making me some money. Because we need that money. Because I need to hire my second mechanic. Uh, so let's do that real quick. And then wrap up this video. There we go. So I need to build five rides. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't know where I'm going to get the money for them. But we'll figure that out as we progress through this series. I'm kind of enjoying this. It's the ugliest ride I've ever built. It's just kind of there. But whatever. It's bringing a lot of people in. Got a bit of a traffic jam on my queue here. Might have to do something about that. But it'll all have to wait. So until the next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious. Oh, 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 oh